wouldn't she? Would she? She might, you know. She might come over. I mean, that's that's her job, isn't it, eh? For visiting the sick. <laughs> You're looking better already. No, I'm not <laughs> fully. I just thought I might practice a little, uh, little harmless self-deception, eh? I shouldn't bother. You know it never works. Well, that's right. But, but, but be encouraging. Well, none of your evil little schemes ever come to anything. <laughs> Anyway, she'll never believe you're poorly. She knows that you never entertain anything that hasn't got a profit in it. I hope to practice a little deception by preparing myself with a, with a little medical study. Anything to get the chance of being clasped tenderly and then drawn with a bit of look in the general direction of that regal bosom. Oh, there's a papilla for a man. <laughs> oh, I could, I could rest me to cheeks on that and be comforted right down to the rare roots of me bare boots. <laughs> It's big by modern standards. Oh, you can uh, keep your modern standards. You try and rest for comfort on a couple of them, you finish up with a perforated eardrums. <laughs> Go and fetch that old, old medical book. You remember the one? Go and oh, get it out. <laughs> now then, oh dear. Now, well, what can I possibly charge for them? Oh. <clears throat> You, you're a bundle of nerves. Oh, you've finally noticed, have you? I've noticed your prices don't get any better. Now, don't you start. I've just had Mrs. Babradock in here. She come in here, bought nothing, and went out with five pounds change. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me all my time to break even. I don't know why you don't pack it all in and buy a little cottage somewhere. Hey, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, tell you what, I could buy yours and you could forget to move out, couldn't you? <laughs> eh? I'll treat you well, I promise you. Yes, it's a tempting offer. You must have a tidy little something tucked away, I bet. Oh, I have, I have, and it's all yours. <laughs> oh, yes, all yours, and, and me money as well, if you like. I can just see myself. You'd have me working in this shop all the hours God sent, and a few more besides. No, you would live like a queen. Yes, and you know how many hours she puts in a week. <laughs> no, if I married you, I should have to be sure you retired early. Oh, I would, I would, uh, straight after the nine o'clock news. <laughs> I... I want to give you the key to my heart. I know what you want to give me. But for the moment, I'll settle for a large packet of detergent. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> what are you walking like that for? No, oh, it's, it's nothing. I find if I uh, uh, grit my teeth and keep my knees together, I can just about cope with it. <laughs> with what? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, really. It's more of a premonition of something coming on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here, there's dozens of diseases in here you could choose. Get out! <laughs> your temper's not improved. How long can you go on to smiling through your pain? Where does it hurt? Put your hand here. <laughs> not till you've seen your own doctor. These fingers are strictly for medicinal purposes. Listen, your national health, you know, I pay my stamps. Least you can do is come over and mark me card. <laughs> you know what you need, Arkwright? What? An operation. An, op an operation? To relieve you of that big lump in your back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm looking for is a nice little illness that will strike me down just after we close. <laughs> Something that calls for a, a nice bit of fire and a, a low light in the living room. Shall you be going out tonight at all? Yes, as soon as we close. Nine o'clock. Yeah. Dancing the night away, eh? Don't forget I shut up sharp at 10.15, will you? <laughs> a whole hour and a quarter of the Dolce Vita. Do you think I'm ready for such freedom? Well, I want you to go out and enjoy yourself, Granville. Mm. I saw that Linda Mulgrave this morning. She's at art school now. Oh, I bet she's a raver. Yeah, well, you're only young once. You gather your rosebuds while you make. Yeah. Trouble is, by the time I get out, there's naught left but thorns. <laughs> Even then, I've a hell of a job to get close enough to get scratched. <laughs> oh, dear, I, I wouldn't want to have that, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't know where to lay it for comfort, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone to art school, you know, grown a beard, become a swinger with a further educational circle. You see, she's a very cautious woman, but if I found a nice, cosy little disease with the right symptoms, I, I reckon she'd come across the road anyway. <laughs> well, go on, then. Oh, heck.
It's Linda, isn't it? Chapel Road Youth Club. Have you any glue? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Hey, hey, hey. How's that for openers after all these years, eh? Have you any glue? <laughs> You're a scream, you lot. Is anything for a giggle in your crowd, eh? I wish I were among it. <laughs> How do you like it? Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the glue, the glue. You see, you see. There you, there you go again. Oh, oh. Oh, I, wish, I wish, I wish I could churn out all that sophisticated patter. <laughs> oh, Aye. Still, we had a lot of laughs, so didn't we? With the, with the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How's your mother? <laughs> Halfway up a step ladder, waiting for this glue. Glue, glue. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. Well, I think it's in the basement, madam. Would you mind waiting for a moment? <laughs> Glue. <laughs> Glue. <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? Should I? It's Granville. <laughs> I only do this for the money, you know. It's not the it's not the essential me. You know, up in the privacy of my own room, it's it's all great literature and the fifty favourite masterpieces of great art. Yes, mm. I uh, I'm free at nine. You know, perhaps we could take a walk down the canal. You know, have a natter about the brushwork of Leonardo. Mm? I'm going to the wrestling. Oh. <laughs> well, well, why don't you call, call in on the way back, you know, and I've, I've made some fresh fruit pie. I've just baked. I, 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 I'm not always in boots. I'm, I'm going to get some suede shoes. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, Ooh, can't be. Eh? No, all right, I'll go, I'll go. I want to get, get a second opinion on this. <laughs> no, man, no, man, you're just the chap I'm looking at. Wonder if that Linda Mulgrave needs a model. <laughs> Someone small but perfectly proportioned. <laughs> and he's cat and bicycle clips. <laughs> can't see out. No, you, you really need one of them uh, uh, light strapped to your head, don't you? I tell you what, uh, do you think you'd be able to see better if I g gave you a torch? Well, I should think so, if I knew what I was looking for. Well, it's inflammation of the special skin which covers the eye. Well, it looks all right. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Eyeballs, eyeball. Let me finish talking with you. <laughs> It's too much responsibility for me, Mr. Arkwright. I only come in for some tinned carrots. Oh, dear. They're good for your eyes. Yes, yes, all they tell me, yeah. You never see rabbits wearing glasses, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Present company accepted, of course. <laughs> now then, would you mind uh, looking in my eye with that torch when I lift my lid off? Come on. Oh, no, I can't stop. I've got two eggs on boil. Oh, dear. You're not the stuff that surgeons are made of, are you, Norman? I've castrated pigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I've, I've got some ointment for that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's just the carrots and the torch, is it, Norman? Uh, no, I don't want the torch. Oh, well, if you have any complaints, of course, we will exchange it. <laughs> <laughs> for another torch, I mean. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps you'd rather have a yellow one, would you? No, I think blue is the in colour this year. Ta-ta. <laughs> Pigs. <laughs> oh, oh. oh that, that damn spring clip. If that gets any more vicious, I'll have to take that round the vets and have it put down. <laughs> oh. Let's hope my pastry rises. My wages never do. <laughs> hey, have you got a th th thermometer? Oh. I, I think I've got a, a touch of page 42. <laughs> You're not there, look, on the wall, look. That's in the old good to me. I, I can't get my mouth round that. <laughs> well, that's all we got, and there's no need to be so modest. You could get three of those in there. <laughs> Stuck on the wall, you silly devil. 